think I figured out why people don't listen to music nowadays in 8 bits. So I've gotten a project set up over here. I've got two microcontrollers. A microcontroller on this side, it's AT Mega 328P, and then a microcontroller on the left, which is an AT Mega 328P as well. I've got an Arduino Uno to do actual programming programming itself. It's set up as Arduino as ISP, uh, so I can program whichever microcontroller I want um, by setting the data data pins, the basic data pins. Um, MISO, MOSI, SCK, uh, ground, and VCC, all that up to each side. So on the right side, I can program that, that microcontroller. On the left, I can program microcontroller on the left. And so what this is doing, it's getting an audio, it's receiving an audio signal, an analog audio signal from my phone and this is coming into this first microcontroller and it's being converted into PCM audio a digital uh, signal a digital PCM audio signal so it's being converted from analog to digital and it's an 8 bits because the the analog values are from 0 to 255 which makes the which makes it 8 bit so it's being converted into PCM audio and then once it's converted into PCM audio those values are sent uh, 16 bits at a time across a serial line a serial line a serial data line at a rate of 250,000 bits per second and most people use Arduino at a max of 115, 200 bits per second. Um, so this is going beyond that. Apparently this is maybe the max for these chips um, for serial data. And so it's being, being uh, sent across the serial line from this microcontroller to this microcontroller. And then this microcontroller is taking that PCM a digital audio signal and converting it back into analog and coming out of the speaker right here. Uh, now the reason I wanted to test this out is because I was wanting to see if I could possibly send this same signal across Bluetooth and so that's a possibility. I have a Bluetooth chip right here. Um, I haven't really gotten it working with the Bluetooth chip and I'm not sure if I will. Uh, considering the resolution is pretty low and plus this this uh, Bluetooth chip right now is set to 115 200 bits per second um, which so I'd have to go down some and if I go down some it still works but the sound quality is even less than it already is and so I don't know if it's a suitable option you need to buy Bluetooth chips that are built for uh, sending audio. And this isn't really built for that. This is right now set up to send serial, just plain serial. So onto the actual code itself, let me just show you so just in case people are asking. So I'm using this auto analog audio uh, library and they have some sample projects so right here they have the wireless speaker um, INO file and they're using an RF24 uh, to send the 8-bit audio across the RF device um, so I had to change this from using the RF device to just a simple serial and and so this is set up for that and I edited it uh, to work with serial. They also have uh, the wireless wireless microphone that's what it's called and they have the whole library here on a github I'll leave both of these I'll leave these links in the description and so there's examples here and one of the examples is the microphone so that's the that's where it takes the analog signal 
and converts it to digital. Um, so now I'm going to just show you what I did um, on my wireless microphone. Um, I got it edited um, to where it's not using the RF device and so it's just using serial. I set it up, I set the sample rate a little bit higher and then it's set to 8 bits. Um, then the it loops through, it gets the ADC analog digital converter and it gets 16 samples and then it goes through these 16 samples and sends it through serial with serial.write okay and so that's how it's getting sent um, from the microcontroller over serial and then I have the wireless speaker project right here and this is setting up the DAC handler just like last time and everything um, and then I changed these a bit to make it match with the microphone uh, set audio I set auto adjust on uh, DAC which doesn't really make much of a difference and then it's at 8 bits and the same sample rate and then in the loop it's just calling RX or receiving data and so then it goes through and it gets 16 bits 16 at a time since it's being sent sent on the microphone 16 bits at a time or bytes at a time and so it's being received 16 bytes at a time here um, it's it's putting it into the buffer array as an unsigned char you can either use an unsigned char or uh, uint 8 underscore t either way works then it's going through the data and then it's writing high to an LED just to show that data is being transferred and then there's a digital write for the LED to put it back whenever it's not and then down here is where it's actually playing the audio AA audio dot feed DAC channel selection and 16 so it's put into the buffer and then it's fed to the digital analog converter so for the wireless uh, microphone I'm using the 80 mega 328 32 bin 32 pin and it's coming in the signals coming in on PC0 uh, which if you looked on the if you're using an actual Arduino Uno to do this a uh, PC0 would actually be a zero on the board so that's the input and then I'm using an 80 mega 328 28 pin for the uh, wireless speaker and this is coming out on pin uh, PB1 um, on the OC1A. And if you converted that 